believe it or not, the 17 runs against the Timberwolves last week was not even Freedom's highest offensive output of the year. Regardless of nearly a week off, though, the bats remain just as hot for the home team. And while the Trojans were the first to strike on Monday, the Pates were ready with a quick response. Daniela Guzzo with Freedom's first base knock. That was followed by Madison Glick's deep shot out to center, nearly over the fence for the lefty, who rounds to second. Then, after Brooke Rummel gets hit by a pitch to load the bases, Brooklyn Pronovich drops one in just inside the third baseline, giving Guzzo and Glick time to score as the Pates go back in front 2-1. to one. Not done yet, though. Following another hit batter, Kate Miller makes him pay. The three-run shot that clears the fence in left now puts Freedom on top by four. The senior's second long ball of the year, making the score five to one after one. A quick second leading to a long third in the bottom half now with one on and no outs. The RBI double from Brooke Rummel drops into right, getting by Amelia Dawson and giving Glick enough time to score her second run on the night. The score now 6-1 Pates. Hitting was certainly contagious though as Pronovich follows that double with a single. Another run batted in, her third on Monday night now for the sixth run advantage, but still not finished. Two batters later with the bases loaded. Sierra Gonzalez scores another two thanks to this shallow hit out to center. And then the very next batter, Peyton Vesiker, will then push Freedom's lead to 10. That one hit hard on the ground to second. Miller and Gonzalez will score easy as Freedom confidently in front at 11-1 to through three. Miller provided what was some needed insurance. Her second home run on the afternoon comes in the fourth. The solo shot this time out to center. She led her team with two hits, three runs, and four RBI as the Pates end it in five, winning by the 12-2 final score. I think this puts a target on our back. First of all, teams are going to come out for us. I mean, they already are, but this then proves that we can still win against the bigger teams. And I think it's also a big motivation for us because we've played like Nazareth and Becca, but we've played a lot of teams who are maybe lower ranked. So I think this coming in winning this game, like our coach said, we haven't beat Parkland forever so this really just I think keeps motivating us to keep going. I think offensively we're really good we need to pick up a little bit on the defense but offensively we're doing great good hits I think that's what's gonna keep us in the rest of the season. There's a lot of things going right for the Patriots. This, their seventh straight win to start the year, and this offense has certainly put up big numbers, scoring double-digit runs in every single contest thus far. And while they remain perfect at 7-0, their priority is their mental focus from start to finish on both sides of the ball. We just have to stay focused throughout the whole game. Um, we have to have that positive mindset that we can do it and we can win. Um, and we just carry that through this game and through all of our other games that we've had. And we hope to carry that mindset through the rest of the season. On the scene at Freedom, I'm Cassie Schmidt for the SC Network.